Hi guys, welcome back. I've got a different style of video for you today. It's another really useful tip that I use quite a lot in my business and personal life. Um, what we're going to do today is more around image editing and um, something that I find I constantly need to do is place images onto something which has a shaded background. Okay, so for instance here I've just uploaded into a PowerPoint presentation my channel logo and as you can see as where I placed the image has a shaded background you can see this big nasty box around the image if I was to be on a white background it's not a problem okay but if you put that on a shaded background it doesn't look professional it doesn't look good really so what I'm going to show you today is how you can eliminate that white box okay um, to make this dynamic, no, I've not just simply shaded the back of this in blue, as you can see, it's dynamic. It's what we call image transparency. Okay, I find this makes things look much more professional. And if you're going to go into some sort of interview where you've got to do a presentation, what you can do is take that company logo, place it down at the bottom, it looks tailor made for the job. If you find a theme that matches, the color theme of the company you're going for, it looks really professional as well. Okay? And you can of course use this in, in other areas as well. So how do we do this? It's actually very simple. We use an online image editor, which I've loaded up here. www.online-image-editor.com So big shout out to them, it's a great tool. All you need to do is navigate to this website and upload your file. So click choose file, upload your file like you would any other, hit upload. Okay, this is going to take you to basically an image editor. What you need to do is on the tab above press wizards and then press transparency. Okay, now you need to click in the white area. Then anything that looks thatched is now transparent or not there. So you'll notice that in between my percent signs I've still got white there so I need to press in those areas as well and then you've got to cross your I's and dot your T's with the different letters of the alphabet. Go in between your O's, in between your P's. Anything that's circled by a solid line you've got to click in as well. Once you've made all those changes press save and that will save you've got an option to save that locally or to Facebook. Save that locally it downloads that straight into my downloads folder I can go and pick that up and then when I copy this image for instance into my PowerPoint it should now be transparent automatically Okay, hope that makes sense. Hope you find this useful. I certainly do. See you next time.